Welcome to part one of my Filled with Love online video class. There are four parts to this class and in each of those classes I'll be focusing on a special promotion that Stampin' Up! is running between now and January 24th. It includes the Filled with Love stamp set which I have used on this particular Joyfold card here and for the heart and actually for this little center for the O in love in addition to an exclusive Love Patterns Designer Series paper pack that will uh, offer sweet patterns in real red and in pretty in pink. And if you purchase the bundle between now and January 24th, it will include bitty buttons, which I have used in my projects for parts two and three. They are a great accent, and it's anytime you can get something free, I love it. Part one is going to focus on the design of a Joy Fold card. It's Size the same as a standard A2 card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, and will fit in one of Stampin' Up's medium whisper white envelopes that will coordinate with it. It essentially is two intersecting cards. This small card intersects with the larger card, and then you create a fun little latch. It's a great wow factor. The sentiment or your personal notes would be written on the inside. You can also choose to close it with a ribbon, but I like this simple little way of making it look neat and clean. So let's get started. I have pre-stamped in real red the word love, and I'm going to show you how I created this little border using the Stampin' Up! Pinking Hearts border and corner punch. You're going to want to start out with the corner punch. And as I've demonstrated before, you actually slide the real red cardstock in and kind of lift up until it locks into place. If you move it around, it's not going to work. You have to actually just, the real trick is lifting and getting it to lock into the spot you want. Next, I'm going to also use this upside down to create, I'm going to look for the last little pointed pinking and start the border. And I will again look for the last little pink and line it up and punch again. Creates a little bit of heart confetti, but hey, that's pretty cute. Then I'm gonna go the other direction and I am looking for the last, lining up the last little arrow or the last little point from the pinking and creating, that's going to be plenty of what I need. I'm actually going to be removing, I've made a little bigger piece than I'm going to need, so I'm going to be chopping a little bit of it off. In my tabletop paper cutter, I'm off screen here for a second, and that should be absolutely great. And it's going to go on the card just like that and look very, very pretty. Clean up my little heart confetti. Um, the next step, I'm going to use my crop dial, but you could use anything to create a hole punch. To use the small side of the crop dial and put a hole in, and I'll show you, I've demonstrated it on a wow video tutorial, how easy it is to do a no slide ribbon. I'm using the 1 8 inch pretty in pink taffeta. Love it. It's got little white piping. Very, very, very pretty. And I created a little point so it would be easy to zip through this hole and bring around. I'm then going to take the ribbon, making sure that it's flat on the back side, bring it around, and make sure I have plenty, but without wasting. I've got another little pointed area. And I'm going to slip this piece in on the opposite side of the hole, right there. Put it right, rest it back on there. Also going to make sure that it's flat on the back, it is. So this creates, I'm going to line it up, a nice it's not going to slide around, especially for a skinny piece of ribbon. 
this is going to keep it in place. And then the next part is I pull it tight and then I'm going to make my tie, bring it around and the key is holding this right hand steady and pulling with the left to create a nice little square knot. And I'm going to clip off the end. That's my husband's great grandfather's clock he brought over from Norway, you just heard. Striking at the half hour. Kind of fun. I'm going to go ahead then and adhere this piece. To the real red and I have a pretty sentiment started but there's another stamp that's going to make this extra pretty it's also from the filled with love stamp set and I'm going to use pretty in pink to ink it up this stamp set comes both in clear mount and wood mount I happen to be a big fan of clear mount and as I've demonstrated before, I always stamp on the far right side because it is easier to punch versus over here. Then I'm doing some crossover. Oh, I'm going to stamp that again. I started to talk and lift it up without fully getting the image on there. There we go. Perfect. I'm using the three-quarter inch circle punch, lining it up and popping it out. And I'm going to use one stamping dimensional on the back side to give love a little extra oomph. And from here, this card gets incredibly easy. It's really a matter of just adhering the pieces. I'm going to, this is the real red. This is one of the patterns. This is the stripe side. I'm going to use this pattern because I. This is a card um, style that really works well with a mix of patterns and that's what I love about Stampin' Up! designer paper is that it, everything coordinates so beautifully. Uh, and this is the Love Patterns Designer Series Pack and as I mentioned before, it is only available during this window of time. It's not something you're going to be able to get throughout the year and I think it's perfect for Valentine's. So that goes on the inside. And then you would fold this over. I'm going to use my bone folder for a nice crisp effect. And I'm going to put another piece from the same designer pack in the polka dot. On this panel. I think we're doing pretty well. Then this is the mini card. This card is 8 by 4 and scored at 4. So it is literally just a mini card. And that's the card that's going to intersect back again. So I'm again simply adding another piece of this pretty paper. For this one I'm going to use the stripe. I just happened to decide to have it go horizontally, but you could Put it whichever direction you like. And then I'm going to adhere the card so that they are one little marriage. I'm going to adhere it. I hear some sirens in the background. Hopefully that's not too disturbing. I'm at home. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the sentiment that we've created, the love sentiment, and I like it hanging off just a little bit, and that's just that's just me. <laughs> the last detail. This is another one of the images that I've also pre-stamped. Um, and I've popped it out with our full heart punch. And then I'm adding dimensionals just here because I'm going to lock it in so that it will be the latch for the card. And I'm actually feeling in here to 
to make sure I can get it in pretty snug. I'm going to adjust one of these because I want to get it situated just a little differently. There we go. I've got them right there. You can see that. And then this will slide in. Yep. I wanted a little more of that heart showing there. And my last detail, and one of my absolute faves, are these uh, basic jewel rhinestones from Stampin' Up. I'm going to use the large one. And I like picking them up with my um, paper snips. Right on top of this little heart. This little heart on that stamp is just the perfect spot for a button or some sort of pretty little embellishment. And I am going to take, I'm going to take another one of the larger rhinestones. Ooh, don't get away from me, don't get away from me. And I'm going to add it right here. So there you go. It's pretty simple. I think the most complicated thing we did was the sentiment, and that really wasn't too difficult. So we've got two versions here. Um, they're always a little bit different, but the bottom line is it's a great card. I think it's got a wow factor. Um, oh, I should have put um, adhesive on this side. I'm going to do that for you right now. I only put it on the one side. There. Now it's going to stay in place. You can add some extra designer paper here if you'd like, or you can just leave it as an open sentiment. And thank you for joining me for part one of my online video tutorials. I uh, can't wait till you see parts two, three, and the bonus tutorial. Thank you.